What's up, you guys? This is Los and Anthony here with the Mako cast. Our boy Heath has a day off. He's over. Where is he at? He's in Napa, drinking some wine. He's in Napa. Doing Bottle Rock. I don't know. Nah. He's not doing Bottle Rock. Okay. All right. Well, maybe he's like on the wine train or something, eating some gourmet. Maybe they're doing Church Rock. Church Rock. Church Rock. Okay. Okay. That's a good place to be on a Friday night. Yeah, why not? Why not? So today we are talking about Kourtney Kardashian. Courtney Kardashian, yes, indeed, and <laughs> Travis Barker. They were recently photographed out in the public wearing a Cannibal Corpse shirt. And the internet is having a field day with these two, and we just thought it'd be kind of fun just to kind of talk about them. Because when you think of Courtney Kardashian, you don't think of somebody that's going to be wearing a Cannibal Corpse shirt. I mean, what's up with that? Closer! Excuse me. <laughs> Man, you know, I actually kind of, dude, I can't even believe I'm going to say this shit. Yeah. I actually kind of dig their relationship. Yeah. Courtney and Travis do like. Yeah. She, she's, he's becoming a bad influence on her, man. I'm telling you. Cannibal corpse. But no, 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 no. See, dude, like, she's come to the dark side, the rock and roll side. So I kind of dig it. <laughs> In a sense, but man, she ain't heard a note. Uh, If she has, the only note she ever heard was from Ace Ventura when Cannibal Corpse is played in the background in that movie. But she wouldn't even know that that's Cannibal Corpse, dude. Like, and so take the shit up. (laughs) (laughs) Well, wait a minute, though. That shirt, she had to pay for it, and it's going into Cannibal Corpse's, uh, uh, royalties, right? So Man, donate that shit to charity then. Somebody's donated to charity. Shirts. But it's an interesting point how you mentioned their relationship because of course we know Travis Barker from Blink 182 and you know all of his other various musical projects and stuff. Um, you know, he's he's a rock guy. He's tatted up. He has influences that, you know, probably include Cannibal Corpse and I am I you know, the way I see it is that she's dating him. And he's probably influencing her and rubbing off and, you know, opening her mind um, to to these new bands that she's probably never heard of. You know, it's a fair point. It is a fair point, Carlos. Yeah. Well, let's read. But she of... ain't heard a single fucking note. <laughs> and <laughs> that is, of course. And dude, that's... Like, come on, man. Dude. And that's what one. That's what everybody's saying on the Internet. We got somebody. I'm just going to read some comments here. They say, Courtney Kardashian in an old school cannibal corpse long sleeve with a laugh emoji. Prepare for butt hurt level 9,000. <laughs> dude, she already knows, dude. She already knows. She's a poser, dude. She's a fucking poser. And you we... know, like, <laughs> poser. Poser. <laughs> and... There's a poser Dude, and I over... know pro- Travis has probably listened to Cannibal Corpse. Who knows? He may have actually gone to a concert and seen him, you know? Maybe jam with some of the guys. Who knows, dude? Like, <laughs> but come on. Yeah. Th- th- that's a trend, dude. It's a trend that just needs to die. All these people wearing, like, metal shirts. Like, I think I saw Kevin Hart wearing an Exodus shirt, dude. And it's like, come on, Kevin you Hart. To Exodus. Come on. Come on. You ain't heard Kanye of West, this, Kanye West you know? was wearing one, wasn't he? Uh, I forgot who, but he was wearing also a metal shirt. I agree with Gary Holt. Kill the Kardashians. <laughs> Kill the Kardashians. Oh, my. So this this Twitter user, Jovi Princess, says, I think Kourtney Kardashian is so in love that she will wear, even listen to her dude's favorite band. And I love it. Bible. I know Cannibal Corpse song Bible. because of my husband. He has their vintage band shirt. So she's getting props from some people. And uh, man, not for me. <laughs> not from us. Not from us. Dude, because well, it, it doesn't feel like support of that genre of music. I love Cannibal Corpse, dude. Like, I've been listening to their new album all this last weekend, dude. Like, or this last week. Yeah. Their new album is, to me, amazing, dude. But I, I just, it, it kills me, dude, as the old metalhead growing up. Like, <laughs> we, you can always tell the kids that were wearing, like, uh, 
Ramones sure they never listen to the Ramones, you know, like come no, on. I, oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So. Um, here somebody says, I think it's possible that she has gotten to a place where she no longer cares about typical Cardassian branding and is actually just being herself for the first time in the public eye. And I hope this is true. I, because to be honest with you, out of all the Kardashians, she was always the one that I thought was the prettiest out of all of them. Yeah. She's like, she was the one where I was like, she seems like she'd be cool to hang out with. So I do hope that that was kind of something true. But I call bullshit. So, so <laughs> like, the verdict there is, is uh, I think it's unanimous that, well, She's a poser, yes, okay? Yeah, she's a poser, dude. There's no way around that. But I, I applaud her for stepping out of her typical Cardassian uh, branding and wearing some metal. I think it's good to represent metal wherever you go because metal doesn't get the representation. I mean, let's face it. Uh, unless you're a metal person, a metal head, you're not going to be wearing metal. Uh, hey, you know who I do want to give props to, though? Yeah. Cannibal Corpse, because they're probably getting hell of streams right now from people listening to going, <laughs> no, who is this man? So, congrats, Cannibal Corpse, man. <laughs> like, oh, cheers. Dude, <laughs> all the little teenagers that follow Courtney, though, are going to probably play one of these Cannibal Turn it Corpse off real songs quick. <laughs> and be like, um, Courtney, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we got to do. My band. We got to get like a a celebrity to wear a shirt or something, do like <laughs> so Yeah. No, absolutely. You know, maybe we should hit up uh Kanye West or, you know, Method Man or somebody or you know, get that crossover audience going. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> so so we know she's a poser, but somebody who isn't a poser, somebody who's the real deal, somebody who is a class act through and through. Guy Fieri, the celebrity chef. He's a Northern California boy, and he recently um, talked about his love for metal. I thought that that was awesome. I mean, you can kind of tell he's he's kind of out there. He's kind of a, a rock dude because, I mean, his, mm -hmm. his kitchen, he, he cooks like guy food, like food that metalheads would like, right? So, I mean, he... He, what is foods that metalhead would like though, dude? Like what I, what is those, guy those food, foods? Guy food, you know, just you know like appetizers. Bacon stuff, you know, <laughs> yeah. like jalapenos wrapped in bacon, you know, all this all this What's stuff that is probably Carl's not Jr. healthy. Slogan, for you. Dude? Huh? What's the old Carl's Jr. slogan? If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, that, and that's what she said, right? I mean <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um <laughs> So he was quoted as saying, I'm a Metallica junkie, Pantera, Rage Against the Machine, ACDC, I mean, you name it. There was just something about living in Los Angeles and living down in Long Beach back in the day and Rage coming out and just getting all of that energy. So to me, I mean, he is not a poser. He is. He's not. But being from the Long Beach area, it kind of surprised me that he didn't throw uh, Sublime in there a little bit. He, I know they're not metal, but, you know, like, that's the sound from that area. So. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, absolutely. I no. digress. Uh, Snoop Dogg was all Long Beach, too, but um, that's another <laughs> genre altogether. <laughs> but you know why I like Guy Fieri, though? Uh, and, and I know you know a lot about this, too, is that he gives back to the community. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, for he, sure. He's been helping out with these uh california fires that we've been having by going to these uh camps these base camps and cooking cooking meals for the fire crews man yeah I mean, my co-worker uh he his fr best friend is uh literally friends with guy fieri and my co-worker was just up there helping guy fieri cook and make the firefighters meals up there for like the last week so I love what Guy Fieri does for the people, man. He's he's a good dude. He seems like he, he he's got a heart. Um, I'm happier now to know that he's kind of he's a metalhead. One that, of us, that, man. He's a metalhead, and, and I, yeah. To me, the guy's a class act through and through. And you know, I'm just thankful that he's doing that. You don't see a lot of celebrities doing that, man. You do see a lot of celebrities, you know, um, flexing on Instagram and and Twitter and wearing cannibal corpse shirts when they, you know, <laughs> don't even know who they are. 
Um, but you don't see people was, doing enough of this. But what's cool about Guy Fieri, and maybe I'm wrong because I haven't checked out the social media, is, is he is he putting this out there that he's doing? Are they making this a big publicity thing? You know, like, I don't think so. I I, I haven't even heard it. about it on the news. You know, like yeah. So that for me, that's even cooler if it's kind of just him trying to do it under the radar mm -hmm. without. The fan, you know, like without the cameras right. behind him, you know what but, I'm saying? But like, it's, I, I, I'm less likely to the, to think that because he has done this before. This event that he's doing now isn't a one-off. He has he has a track record of doing this for firefighters. And that's awesome, dude. Doing other cool stuff for people. So yeah, I don't think it's 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 a, it's a publicity stunt, so to speak. But yeah. I love that he uses his celebrity for. Uh, you know, it's obviously a, to help, dude. Like he, he uses it to help. He uses it to make to make moves, dude. You know, for the good of you know, good of people. So, yeah, I mean, so if Malcontent ever gets big and famous, could you see yourself doing something like that, dude? I would love to do. Sh well, that's why we got back together to begin with. You know, we put together that show to for Ashley to. Mm -hmm. Try to help her through her cancer and uh yeah that was a benefit it was a benefit and we raised her ten thousand dollars dude i would love to use music for that shit that kind of stuff you know like i'm not in it for the money dude like i'm in it for the love and trying to help people out you know like no, i would love to do that absolutely so. and it's very it's very cool that you guys did that and it led to you guys reuniting and that's awesome but speaking yeah. of the band you guys next friday they are playing a show, a local show here at Cheers. It's going to be our homeboy Heathrow's birthday party. Everybody's invited. The show starts at 10. You guys have, have to come out, have to represent Malco crew. And we, you know, we're very excited to, to see everyone. Man, I can't wait to play. Like, our rehearsals have been really, 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 really good. Like, we've been... On our s, on our shit, on you know, like, and uh, getting pumped. We're working on some, like, a little, a few little surprises, trying to make it more of uh, a show than a performance per se, you know. Awesome. Trying to add some little, little things and make it, make it the best you've ever heard of us. So it's gonna be, yeah. it's gonna be a party, man, and everybody's invited. Yeah, for sure. So all we, the. Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, we'd love to see everybody there. We understand that there's still COVID going around, so we're going to try to... Yeah, we won't give that detail later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, we hope to see everybody there. We have show details. We will post them. Uh, I think they're on our Facebook and Twitter and Instagram sites, so if you guys are interested in joining Malcontent for that show... 10 o'clock and cheers next Friday, guys. 9 o'clock. And I think, Nine I think that's going to do it for today's Malco cast. Thank you guys for joining us. As always, we appreciate you. Make sure that you drop a comment, that you subscribe, and that you give us a big like on this video because it really helps motivate us to do more of these. Yeah. And with that, <laughs> see you next time. Peace. Peace. Later. <laughs>